What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and in this video I'm going to try to help you decide on whether or not to buy the rectifier. At the very least my goal is to help you make an informed decision on whether or not to spend 64 gold. But first things first let's take a look at this gadget and see exactly what it does. It is a quick action and it's subtle so it does have that going for it. Then it's going to place a debuff on all the enemies. This debuff is called energy feedback and it causes damage after they perform an energy attack. That's decent but of course it depends on who you're facing and what weapons the enemy agent has. The interesting parts though are the buffs. First you get rectifier. Energy attacks gain guaranteed hit and increased chance of critical hits. Now this will actually appear on your team at the start of combat even though it is kind of confusing on how they list it. Next you gain energy rebound on your team after you use this item. This will cause all your characters to heal themselves after they perform an energy attack. Now there's a few things that I want to go over if you're thinking about getting this item. First of all if you're not a level 300 some of the best gold items that you can buy happen to be gadgets such as this one. The reason gadgets are so great and typically worth their value is because you will never need to reforge them. Even if you buy this at level 50 it will have the same worth once you hit level 300. It will still do the same things and affect your team in the same way. This is why one of the greatest gold items happened to be the Neurotrope. And although this isn't quite on that level, if you do decide to buy it, you won't have to ever reforge it. Meaning you could very easily get your worth out of it. But I do have to mention my second point, and this has a good and a bad side to it. This gadget of course is limited to energy weapons and attacks. So any hero with an energy attack can and will benefit from it. But there are plenty of characters that are strictly melee or don't have any type of energy based attacks. The same thing can be said for some of the best items in the game. So in other words if you're just going to use the Warbringer Axe or the Hand of Apocalypse and characters like Juggernaut and Quicksilver then you won't have much use for the Rectifier. But on the flip side there are a ton of heroes with energy attacks some of them will even surprise you. The list includes characters like Havoc, Magneto, Iron Patriot, but then there's even characters like Phoenix and Thor who both have an energy attack. I don't want to name them because I'd be here all day, but go ahead and take a look for yourself, it's actually pretty interesting. You will also be pretty surprised to find out which attacks don't count as energy, even though I do admit that's kind of annoying. For example, some are just listed as ranged attacks. I for one did think that this item is worth buying and that is because I do have quite a few ideas in mind for it. Now after buying it let's go ahead and try it out in PvP. So this is just one setup out of many that I did try and we are using the Rectifier, the Coulson's Revenge, the Cosmic Cardinal and the Cube. Both the Coulson's and the Cardinal count as energy attacks and so they should heal us, have a guaranteed hit and an increased chance of crits. Then we also have Magneto and Iron Patriot who both have energy attacks. Now as we try to get a practice match I just want to let you know there's a pretty big problem in practice PvP. I only see the same agents over and over again. Typically the same five and then occasionally one to two others. None of these provide a very good matchup. In fact many of these agents are using weakened teams to help others with incursions. This really doesn't help as far as testing or practices and it definitely doesn't help for video purposes either. No matter what I do, reload, refresh, beat these agents, no new agents will show up. That is outside of those one to two other agents that I do see regularly. And by the way I was told by another player that they're seeing the same exact agents as well. So if PD is watching I really hope that they fix this so we can properly test out teams and weapons. Right now you're seeing one of those level 300 teams and all they're running is Groot. I suppose at least this is going to give us some sort of look at the new gadget rectifier and then after this match I'll face another 300 but I warn you his team isn't much better. If they don't change this soon it's going to make for some pretty boring matches until the next PvP begins. But anyways we knocked Groot into baby form and then he gives his agent an extra turn. After he attacks Iron Patriot with the kinetic blade we finally get to use the rectifier. Now our energy attacks will heal us including the Coulson's revenge. And by the way the Coulson's critting is going to mean the end for most enemies. This can be a very high damage attack 
and it's going to easily finish the enemy agent. Then you're going to see energy rebound is roughly 10% of our health. So yes, with the rectifier you're going to gain back 10% HP every time you use an energy attack. That is, as long as that buff is active. Now as we exit this match, we'll go back into practice, and you'll see our list barely changes. At the most, it adds those one or two agents that weren't there before. That's all the variety there is for myself, and quite a few others as far as I understand it. So we have no choice but to choose the other 300, and he's going to be running Tigra and Medusa. This is about the best setup and team that we can face right now. With Iron Patriot to avoid counterattacks, I'll go ahead and use the Repulsor Beam first. Oh, and this time I just wanted to point out that the Rectifier does activate, and it gives us that guaranteed hit and increased crits. I'll show you the effect in just one moment, and yes, it does give it to us at the start of combat. But first, our counterattack is going to take out the enemy agent right now. Okay, so on Magneto's turn, we'll look at our agent, and there you see the Rectifier. This buff says energy attacks gain guaranteed hit and an increased chance of critical hits. And there you can see War Machine has it as well, so you do start the combat with that buff on your entire team. Also, it will remain until your agent is KO'd, so that's pretty awesome and that fact probably makes it worth buying. Next you can see even Graviton Well is a ranged energy attack, so when we use this we would gain back HP, that is, if our agent would have got to use the Rectifier first. Since he didn't, instead I tried to stun Medusa, and it does work. Heavy Metal unfortunately isn't an energy attack, so it didn't crit. But now on my agent's turn, I can use the Rectifier, and then we will gain those heals to our energy attacks. Plus we also get to fire the Coulson's Revenge, and it most likely is going to crit. Since Medusa can be pretty annoying, let's go ahead and fire on her. By the way, this may not come into play too often, but the enemies do have energy feedback, meaning they will take damage after they use an energy attack. Here goes that Coulson's Revenge, and it does 56k and does crit. Plus, Energy Rebound gives us 10% HP back. Then after the enemy Tiger attacks, I'll show you a pretty great thing about that Energy Rebound. Iron Patriot's 21 gun salute is an energy attack, and even though you can fire it 2 to 3 times in one turn, it will still heal you for each salvo. So there goes one and a heal, and there's our second, followed by a second heal. This also works with characters like Rocket, and trust me, I plan on showing you something pretty special with him. You can look forward to that in our next video. For this one, Magneto finishes with another energy attack, and he heals as a result. That is going to be it for this one, but I really hope that I helped you make a decision. Remember, it is a gadget, so you won't have to reforge it. That means it will keep its value. There are a lot of characters that have energy attacks as well as weapons. And it is a quick action that's also subtle, and it provides very nice buffs for any energy team. The cons would be we only get four equipment slots, and this is going to take one of them. Not all teams use energy attacks, especially some of the most popular ones right now. For example, Quicksilver, Red Hulk, Pestilence Beast, etc. The same thing goes for some of the best weapons in the game that happen to be melee, slash non-energy. But personally, I think this item is worth getting, and you never know what heroes may be added, or how the meta might change. So there you have it, and I just want to let you know that there is an update on my second channel, and you can click on the link that's going to be on the screen right now to go and check it out. Plus, for anyone who wants to see me play Flappy Bird, it will be at the end of that video. So yeah, go and check it out and you'll hear what's coming for both channels and how I plan to improve on each. That's going to be it for this one and I want to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, good luck and take care.